Welcome, this is the bonus episode for after Tales of the Story. Maybe I make more for the optional bosses and stuff like that, but I don't think so. Anyway, this episode will be about this one simple thing. The sketches. All oh, the sketches. Let's just watch them and have fun. That was lovely. You all just look so charming in your idol master outfits. Charming, sure. But if Felicia won't stop cringing, it ruins the effect. But those skirts! They're so short! People might even see your undergarments if you're not careful. Well, yeah, that's the point. They're show-off undies that go with the skirt, not real underwear. The skirts may be a bit short, but market studies show that this is currently the most popular length <laughs> held by the citizenry to be super cute. Yes, science has repeatedly shown that skirt length to provide optimal cuteness. Cease your resistance. What even is an idol, anyway? I'm not familiar with this use of the word. Um, well, it's something admired and venerated, right? Those clothes are supposed to inspire that. Just like how you're the idol of all the citizens of Highland. M me Idol to the kingdom? Well, the public adores and respects you. You're a symbol of hope to them. It's quite fair to call you their idol. See? You have a sacred duty. A birthright to that outfit. Are you... Are you quite certain that is what will bring hope to the people? Damn right it will! The sight of an even sweeter than normal Alicia will tug their spirits right out of the doldrums. And if we're wearing it together, you're not alone, right? Absolutely. With all four of us wearing it at once, we'll activate a cute union bonus for extra cuteness. Yes, complete the effect with everyone's attached stuffed toy, and we will achieve maximum cute. Epic cute. Thank you, everyone. Don't sweat it. Still, kind of sucks that the people of Highland won't actually be able to see Lila or Edna. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Edna, watch where you swing that thing. This is why I despise humans. Now, Edna, you know it's not her fault. Uh, you know, we should uh, do that in somewhere else. Okay, because the music doesn't fit. Uniform crazy. Score! These school uniforms look so cute! I can't wait to try them on. I've always wanted to wear one. Now you, Alicia, you're clearly on the honor roll. Really? It looks normal enough to me. But I do understand the distinct appeal of a precisely assembled uniform. Even if the skirts look awfully short. <laughs> if you're all students, I think mine makes me the health and physical education teacher. Who's actually, secretly, the school headmistress in disguise! That makes negative sense. Minus sense. Also, given that outfit, one wonders how physical the education gets. Your dress certainly looks unique, Edna. I'm not sure it counts strictly as a uniform, but the Norman adds a cute and stylish touch to the ensemble. I do things the way I like, at all times. It's true that uniforms are all about how stylish you can make them without breaking the rules. Speaking of which, straight A Alicia, you ever wear a scrunchie before? Scrunchie? It almost sounds like a hellion. Is it some kind of fashion accessory? Bingo. You use it to bunch your hair up, or you can just stick it on your wrist. Instant style. Why don't you try one on? My goodness, it sounds both useful and fashionable at the same time. Such versatility. I wonder, would a scrunchie be enough to make my uniform look cute like a proper girl? And then, let's see. I'll borrow those glasses of yours. And then my Norman backpack can go right here atop your head. Oh, th thank you very much. Um... Is... is that the way normal girls dress to look cute? Fear not. It'll be just as I imagined it. Girls, girls! School is a place of learning! Kindly wear your uniforms properly! But whatever you do, I'm sure you will look splendid! 
It's so nice to wear something different once in a while. So I'm guessing the pink one's for Alicia and the flowy one's for Lila. Yeah, I can see that. Which would mean... What are you guys doing? Oh, hey there, boys. Good timing. Take a look here. What are these? Swimsuits? Why swimsuits? But there's even girl suits. Of course. If only the guys wear them, what'd be the point? Make the up. It's all right. Take yourselves a good long look. Just imagine. Can you start to see the ladies wearing these in your mind? I, I have no interest in such things. I've never worn a swimsuit before. Let me see. Saray? That's the spirit, Saray. What do you think? Yep, I think these will look great on everybody. Real comfy. Though, come to think of it, all the girls have real nice skin. A fine, smooth texture, don't you think? Uh. Oh, you've been watching them more than I thought. Not really. You just see glimpses now and then. I don't know, it was just an observation. And I was just like, if you're gonna wear something new, a swimsuit would be awfully refreshing, you know? Refreshing? Well, in a sense, sure. But wouldn't it be embarrassing? I wouldn't even know where to rest my eyes. <sighs> Still just boys, the both of you. Well, I, for one, am fine with whatever anyone wants to wear. Or not wear. I I'm not strictly opposed to it. It's just... And there we have it! At the fervent request of Miklio and Dezel, the entire team will henceforth implement the swimsuit protocol. What? Keep your voice down! Neither of us requested a darn thing! Hey! You said you were just gonna casually suggest swimsuits to the girls, and now you throw me to the wolves! You traitor! Get back here, Zavid! I'm not through with you! Huh? Where'd everybody go? Hey! Okay. Let's see the Syria. Let's see the Syria. Can you shut up for once? I said silence, you fool. What's the matter now? Edna's mumbling to herself. It's really annoying. She ain't talking to herself. She's talking to me. Dezel, you're so mean. How dare you make a girl cry like that? It goes against the laws of the guild. You don't deserve to call yourself a swordsman. Girls are delicate creatures. Dezel's nothing but a big jerk. What on earth is going on with these screwballs? Dezel, what's wrong? Everybody's completely wigged out. Oh. I let them read some adventure stories yesterday. That's all it took? Ugh, kids these days can't tell fantasy from reality. Wait, so did Rose? I won't let that slide, Dezel. Yup, figures. I expected better of you. Do you really think you can overcome the trial and save all of humanity with an attitude like that? Hell if I know. You're the ones trying to mess with me. I didn't do anything wrong. The sad sack roll sure suits you, Dezel. Hey, cheer up. Let's go back on some hotties. Well, you haven't changed, at least. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty far gone myself. Hey, you listening? Wanna see me grow my wings out? It would be just lovely if you all ignored me a little bit less. Uh, well then. Big weapons are the coolest! It's not the size that matters, kid. It's how you use it. Shows what you know. The real strength of a weapon lies how badass it looks. I question that logic. If weapons could, like, change shape, that'd be even sweeter. Transforming weaponry? What would that even look like? You know, like when you're near an enemy, it's a sword, but when they run away, it turns into something like Siegfried. You mean Zavid Siegfried weapon? I suppose that might work. Maybe. Why transform it? Why not just carry both of them? Sheesh, you're a wind, Sarah. Where's your imagination? You're like a limp weather vane in a heat wave. Certainly, freeing up one hand would present an advantage. Though I don't know if transformation is strictly necessary. That's because you're hung up on weapons, Mickey boy. Think about it. In close combat, a sword. Then, back up a few paces, and... Boom! It's a spoon! 
move. What would you do with a spoon? Eat curry and stuff. You don't know what a spoon's for? I think we're wondering why you'd be eating curry in the middle of battle. A delicious hearty curry that fills your stomach and restores your health and you ask more of it? You're derailing the conversation on purpose, aren't you? Hey, I know. The sword could, like, open up and just eat the enemy. How cool would that be? Saray, he lives in a special world, doesn't he? Uh, so tired, so hungry. I need a long bath and a real damn bed for once. Complain, complain. Yeah, I will complain. You guys don't even need sleep or food. I'm a delicate maiden. What? You think we're somehow lacking in maidenly qualities? And to think I was once renowned as the Lady of the Lake. How could it come to this? Besides, Rose, if it's too late now to get back to the city, whose fault is that exactly? Well, I mean, you can't just leave such a huge blob of malevolence alone, can you? It's true that there seem to be more and more Hellions these days. Feels like it's been that way ever since the pro-war backlash started. I hope Alicia's doing all right. Don't you think we ought to tell her? They're just about to finalize a peace treaty. She's got too much to worry about without us adding to it. And anyway, you can bet she'd ask us about Saray. And you're not planning on telling her? Nope. Some things are better left unknown. She won't like that. I can deal. Rose. Okay, that's enough blah, 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 blah. Food, bath, bed. Come on, let's crash in Marlin. Are you okay with this? Let's follow her lead for now. Oh, here we have Saray, isn't that technically a ritual sword? If it was originally purely for decoration, I'm surprised you've become so adept with it. Yeah, it's sort of a symbol, I guess. I take no more life than is necessary to eat. I thought it was just the first thing you ever found in the ruins. Well, sure, initially, but... And I'm guessing you chose a staff, Miklio, to compensate for being shorter than Saray when you two were training. Uh, I think there's a grave misunderstanding here. Oh, I'm very sorry. I didn't realize the topic of your height difference was so sensitive. I'm not sensitive. I just didn't... Don't pick on her, Miklio. On her? She's picking on me. Hey, Saray, Miklio. I made a snack for you guys. Try it. Whoa. Edna making a treat for us? Saray, is this a dream? This is a dream, right? Well, that was rude. You think I'm incapable of cooking? I'm a girl, you realize. Quit being difficult and put it in your mouth. Oh, it looks fantastic. It does. You really nailed the presentation. Okay, chow time. <laughs> Hot! <coughs> Holy crap. What spices did you put in this? <laughs> Miglio, water! Hmm, so this one's no good either. Thanks, my trusty taste testers. I'll let you know when the next one's ready. <sighs> Is this the way of women? It's all right to cry. That is the way of men. Best one for you. Miglio! Miglio! Whoa, what's up? You okay? Look, there's an apple gel in the toilet! What? Those don't... Why would that be there? I don't know, but it seems like a real waste. A single gel can make the difference between life and death. Do you think it's still edible? Oh, gross. You're joking, right? No, like, we could boil it, roast it, maybe lightless flames can purify it. Huh. Well, there might be a process out there that could sanitize it. True. Don't even think of using that on me. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, Tolkien Desolate. You know, I picked Desolate.
Basil is the quiet loner type, but he's actually turned out to be a real chatterbox sometimes. Very true. Especially when the conversation turns to animals. Probably because animals are his only friends. He hates other people, human and seraph alike. But something inside him still yearns for the warmth of living things. Sad. Oh, damn. What? What are you looking at? And Edna knows most of all the heartache of having no friends. Is that it? The hell? I didn't say that! She didn't say that, Edna. And besides, to Bezel, the wind counts as his friend. Lila, you're not helping. Did you just imply I'm lower than Dezel on the friend scale? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. So you did it subconsciously? That's even worse. Dude, Edna, you seriously need to chill. Ugh, shut up already. What are you, a flock of Zapgot starlings? Actually, hold on. Zapgot starlings have enough sense to stop chirping at night. Unlike some people. S sorry Watch yourselves. There's nothing that makes a peep at this hour but the likes of Drago Toads. Drago Toads? Dezel can really talk when he sets his mind to it. That he can. Edna looking squat. Holy crap, this salmon terrine thing is amazing! Amazing, but I wonder how they make it. And what's a terrine anyway? Huh? You're eating it without knowing what it is? Well, yeah. You don't need to know how to make it or what's in it just to put it in your mouth. Why? Do you know? Of course. Terrine is a dish that you make by... Take your salmon and fillet it into thirds, apply herbs and vinegar, then marinate for no less than 30 minutes. Oh, well, well. Miss Edna's a well-versed lady. Even advanced cooking is no problem for you, huh? After this, toss it together with well-beaten slimes and add crushed, smoke-dried leeches on top. Put it all in a container and hang it under the eaves for three days and three nights. Wait, what? Slimes? As in the gooey hellion things? Those are in this? To draw out the flavor, secretly put in a couple melon gels and... Saray, don't take anything she says at face value, remember? Yeah, Edna, knock it off. Some of us are still eating. We're eating? I... I think I'm done. Incidentally, the correct answer... Terrine is a dish made by assembling the ingredients together and baking them in a container called a terrine. What's what's next day? Today, you guys get a special treat. A perfect 100 point Drago stew. I've assembled the ingredients. Follow my instructions exactly. Got it? <laughs> Nothing like a stew to bring out the dictator in someone. I think the transition comes easier for her. You, stop chit-chatting and focus yourself. You'll disrupt your delicate teamwork. First, the vegetables. I've boiled them beforehand. Start with the harder ones, then add the softer ones after that. Teamwork? It's just a stew. What's the big deal? <laughs> if she's parboiled the veggies already, she really must be aiming for the big 100. That's odd. I said no talking, and now you're talking. You must want to lose your eating privileges. S sorry! Sorry. All right, here we go. Bring the water to a boil, and get ready to toss in the leafy greens once it starts bubbling. Look, it's boiling already. This is it, now! Throw the meat in at the same time! Go, go! Uh, okay, that was sudden. It's almost time. Prepare yourselves, everybody. Remember, when you take off the lid, pick out the vegetables first. This is the key to perfect culinary arrangement. You're even gonna tell us how to put it on our plate? Hold on, Miglio. This is... Delicious. Delicious! Of course it is. I directed the procedure, remember? Aren't you gonna have some too, Edna? Nope. I'm just here to issue the instructions. I'm not about to eat anything with that as the secret ingredient. Hmm? Did you say something? No. Anyway, I'm heading back to the room. See you. All right. We'll finish the rest. But man, I had no idea it would turn out this good. I think I could eat this forever. I guess when Edna says a perfect 100, she's not lying. Yeah. Huh? What's this bone? Was that a Norman? Can you imagine if that was a Norman?
Sweet, sweet days. Come on, Miklio, hurry up! You're taking forever! Making it for the both of you takes longer. You know that. None for me. You're awfully brave for Amiibo. I'm so hungry, I could die. You guys too? Hurry! hurry! Fine, fine. Here, try this. Huh? That's it? <laughs> this will fill my stomach a bit. Thank, Thank you. you. More, More please. please. For crying out loud, have you ever heard of savoring your food? Less talky talk, more worky work. If you don't hurry it up, there's no telling what gentle Zavid might do. Yeah, Miklio, come on. Yeah, come on. Gah! If you whiners are so hungry, make it yourselves. It's not like I'm your personal... <laughs> there is no greater beauty than true friendship. always come out perfect, don't they, Dezel? Yeah, come to think of it, I've never seen him make a mistake. Do you have any advice for us? Is there some kind of trick? Nothing too special. I just sense the currents of the wind and act accordingly. Reading the wind, you mean? If you know how to read the wind, it will tell you everything. The colors, shape, location, anything. That is basically the neatest thing ever! But is it something I could learn, too? You're not a seraph, Rose, so it might be tough. Aw, humans don't cut it? That sucks. Oh, wait! What if I armatize? Would that make me able to read the wind? Hmm, not sure. I suppose there's a chance. Good enough! Lukai! Lukai and Yerlin! Hey, no fair! Huh? Don't use your powers for that, you brat! Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Saray got in trouble! That goes for you, too! What's wrong, Alicia? Oh, just while we ate, I noticed the woman at the next table giving us a funny look, and it got me thinking. What do you think normal humans see when seraphim eat in front of them? Oh, right. Most people can't see them, so... I guess it would look like, uh... Like the food on the table floated up and vanished? Weird. When I first visited Alicia, it never registered to me as odd. I've eaten in public on several occasions before, but nobody around me seemed to notice or care. Even if they notice, I think they tell themselves they just imagined it. Huh. Crazy. I guess it's true that no one's ever said anything to us while we were eating. But that doesn't make it okay to sample other people's food, Lila. What? I don't sample! When you interact with humans, it's important to share the same sensations they do. So purely for this reason... You sample their food. I, I just would imagine uh, protect women. <sighs> Can't quite look, Dazzle. We found an unusual stag beetle. Later, I'm in the middle of something. Doesn't look like you're doing anything. Of frowning at me. Quiet. I'm trying to censor the wind currents. Sense who? Rose. She's in the sauna. You mean you're peeping on her? No, I'm protecting her. You should know by now just how many people out there have an axe to grind with her. On top of that, her moves are unpredictable. It's the sacred duty of a seraph to keep a vessel like her safe. I. I see. Is that. Should that convince us? Forget it. I don't care what you all think of me. God, this sauna blows thick chunks. How's a girl supposed to relax with these icy drafts blowing over her? Dazzle, you're a wind seraph. Do something about it. Do something? Like, like what? I'll leave that up to you. G got it. Hmm. Huh. You don't think she knows already? Not much gets past her. <laughs> Love for words. Seraphim use a lot of the same proverbs as humans. They just interpret them differently. Really? So like, Pendrago wasn't built in a day means 
That one's a reminder. It felt like a day to most Seraphim, but the humans claim it was decades or longer. How about a watch pot never boils? That comes from a water Seraph who'd barge into kitchens and keep the humans cooking pots from heating up. Hilarious. What about don't look a gift horse in the mouth? It means horses are ugly, especially their mouths. That seems subjective. instinctively trusts people speaks well for him, but it's not good to be too trusting. Oh, so you think someone ought to tell him all the uncomfortable and unpleasant truths of the adult world, huh? No problemo. The beat is on the case. That's entirely not what I said. Ah, oh, come on. You realize it won't be all rainbows and moonbeams if he carried that same pure heart into adulthood, don't you? Well, that's why we're here, right? To watch over Saray and keep him on the path of virtue. Huh. You're not his best childhood friend for nothing, I see. But what will Saray do if you stray from the path of virtue? Like that would ever happen. If nothing else, Saray would never allow it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just saying the truth. This is how you treat me? Only five to go. Razen. Oh. Hi -ya! Yeah. What the heck, Rose? Don't tug on my cloak like that. Oh, it was just, you know, it flutters around. I couldn't not grab it. Try to control yourself. What? What are you looking at now? Well, uh, you know how the pattern on your cloak looks like buttons and stuff. So I was thinking, does something come out if you push them? What? Yeah. Suppose not. Rose, this ruin exploration is boring you, isn't it? Don't worry, I got your back. I'm with you to the end. I notice you didn't answer the question. Rose and action. Gah, knock it off. Come on, do it. What on earth? I asked Mikleo to show me his forehead and he got all flustered. Why would I even do that? And why here? Why now? Why would you even resist? Must mean it's a real good one. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, Dezel, you know, I've never seen your forehead either. What, I, what does that have to do with anything? Show me, show me! Get, get away from me! I think Rose's marbles may be thoroughly misplaced at this point. Well, I, for one, am entertained. How about you, Saray? You gonna step in? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe we've done enough exploring for now. Saray, look! The land below has some of the same plants that grow in Elysia. You're right! Gramps' blessing surrounds and protects Elysia, but I guess the two lands are still connected. Yeah. Maybe plant life from the land below has gotten carried by the wind all the way to Elysia. But seeds aren't the only thing the wind carries, boys. Uh-oh. What are we in for now? Nothing good, I'd imagine. Now don't be like that! This is a highly relevant topic for youths on the cusp of manhood! The wind can bring many beguiling pleasures your way. A letter, a melody, even the heady perfume of love. So if anything like that ever crops up, <coughs> old Zavita's here to be your guide. <laughs> it's true that sometimes things like that come up, but you'd kind of be the last person we'd ever tell about it. What? But I'm your greatest ally, your most tireless accomplice. You just want an excuse to pry into our affairs. This will be the most meta sketch ever. Ugh, can you shut up for once? I said silence, you fool. What's the matter now? 
Edna's mumbling to herself. It's really annoying. She ain't talking to herself. She's talking to me. Dazzle, you're so mean. How dare you make a girl cry like that? It goes against the laws of the guild. You don't deserve to call yourself a swordsman. Girls are delicate creatures. Dazzle's nothing but a big jerk. What on earth is going on with these screwballs? Dazzle, what's wrong? Everybody's completely wigged out. Oh, I let them read some adventure stories yesterday. That's all it took? Ugh, kids these days can't tell fantasy from reality. Wait, so did Rose? I won't let that slide, Dazzle. <sighs> yep, figures. I expected better of you. Do you really think you can overcome the trial and save all of humanity with an attitude like that? Hell if I know! <coughs> You're the ones trying to mess with me! I didn't do anything wrong! The sad sack role sure suits you, Dezel. Hey, cheer up. Let's go back on some hobbies. Well, you haven't changed at least. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty far gone myself. Hey, you listening? Wanna see me grow my wings out? It would be just lovely if you all ignored me a little bit less. Didn't we see that before? The last one. And then we'll, we'll see. Goodbye. There. That should do it. I never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. The council's on its way to inspect Lastenbell and Mind. The final stage of the peace process. An end to war between Highland and Rollins. Hmm. If our days of conflict are truly past, I may no longer need this armor. Take it Perhaps off. it is time I began acting more like a lady. Hmm. <laughs> Why, hello. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Like that, maybe? Uh, I'll be right out! Just one moment! <sighs> Saray and the others open the door. Now it's our job to step through it. All right. Here we go. The inspection team is scheduled to arrive at 2 o'clock. Please arrange for one last sweep to make sure we haven't missed anything. So this is it? Um... <sighs> okay, goodbye. I don't know what to say more, but this is it for Tales of Zestaria. It is the end. Uh, there are things to do, but this is the end. Thank you for watching, thank you for everything, thank you for subscription, thank you for viewing, thank you for the likes, thank you for the time you give me to watch this, and thank you Namco for making a great game, thank you YouTube for letting me put this video on, thank you everyone, and thank you everyone, goodbye.